We got the bug growing. We got most of the protein isolated. We'll have an antibody test within a week. Raging viral outbreaks in movies usually end with a last-minute vaccine. But here's the reality. I can't recall the last time, if it's ever happened, that a vaccine was made in time to deal with the outbreak. Not with Ebola, Zika or SARS. For this novel coronavirus, scientists did get the genetic code early and it's similar to SARS. Problem is, potential SARS vaccines yeah. were yeah. abandoned is, uh, after the virus the was contained. Cutout. The scientists always race and say, we'll get a vaccine together. But then a lot of stuff just dies out in freezers because the outbreak is not there. The fact is, vaccines take time. Scientists must find a trigger particle to kickstart the body's defenses, pass several stages of testing, some involving thousands of patients. Then, if Health Canada approves, a drug company has to mass produce the vaccine and monitor it for reactions. It all takes at least a year. And big drug makers are not eager to get involved. If the outbreak is over before the vaccine is ready, companies lose millions of dollars. Vaccines and therapeutics are not silver bullets. Even beyond this outbreak, the World Health Organization wants funding to better coordinate the research and development of vaccines. Nobody's developing those products because there is no incentive, economically speaking. Gary Kobinger and his team are working to find a novel coronavirus vaccine. Their work is paid for in part by a nonprofit group called CEPI. He says if a nonprofit could mass produce vaccines, that would be a game changer. There is the possibility to have not for profit entity creating good job, for example, in Canada and producing those vaccines and those, uh, those treatments at no profit. This is the third coronavirus outbreak in 18 years. It's hoped the world will be better prepared for the next one. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.